Welcome, curious minds, to another enlightening chapter of the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Today, we unveil the captivating tale behind an often overlooked treasure of our homes. Yeah, the salt and pepper shakers. These unassuming items, now essential in Western households, have a fascinating origin story that might surprise you. So, prepare to be transported through time as we journey back to the origins of these charming collectibles. Salt and pepper shakers have been a staple on dining tables across Western culture for many years. They may seem like everyday objects that we don't give much thought to unless they're particularly cute or we collect them. In fact, these seemingly simple and decorative items secretly have a rich and fascinating history that spans centuries. So, are you intrigued? You should be. Let's explore the origins, development, and significance of salt and pepper shakers and delve into their impact on cuisine, society, and even art. Salt has been essential for preserving food and enhancing flavor since immemorial. Salt can be traced back to ancient Egypt, where it preserved fish, meats, and vegetables. Salt was so valuable that it was often used as a form of currency, and it played a vital role in the development of trade routes and the growth of cities. Essentially, human society as we know it requires salt. It makes sense to invent a special place to keep it. The Birth of the Salt Shaker Salt was usually kept in clay jars for millennia. In medieval times, it was stored in small bowls called salt cellars and served with a spoon. Then, society decided to get creative with salt storage. The earliest known salt shaker was invented in 1858 by John Mason, the inventor of the mason jar. However, the concept of a shaker for salt didn't gain widespread popularity until the 1920s, when Morton Salt introduced anti-caking agents that allowed salt to flow freely and maintain its granular texture. Before this innovation, table salt had a tendency to clump up due to moisture. Pepper has been used as a spice and medicinal ingredient for thousands of years. Originating in India, pepper was exported from South Asia for about 4,000 years. The popularity of pepper in Europe grew with the expansion of trade routes and increased global exploration. Pepper was considered a rare and valuable spice, and it was often used in tandem with salt to season food. The Pepper Shaker and Grinder like salt, pepper was initially stored in small containers and ground using a mortar and pestle. Have you ever seen a whole peppercorn? They're huge. You've got to grind it into powder to use it in human food. The invention of the pepper grinder, or pepper mill, in 1842 by Peugeot of France revolutionized the way pepper was used in the kitchen. The pepper grinder allowed for a more uniform and consistent grind enhancing the flavor and aroma of the spice. The 1920s saw the rise of salt and pepper shakers as a matched set. The innovation in anti-caking agents for salt and pepper grinders that made a finer pepper powder allowed for the development of more ornate and artistic designs for shakers, which then became popular household and collectible items. The matched set of salt and pepper shakers became a symbol of unity and balance in Western cuisine as the two essential seasonings were now conveniently available at the dining table for everyone in the household to use to season their plates to their own individual tastes. Designs and Materials Salt and pepper shakers are made from a variety of materials, including plastic, glass, metal, and ceramic. Their designs range from simple functional containers to elaborate and whimsical works of art. Some designs are inspired by related objects, such as animals or cultural icons, while others are based on specific occasions or holidays. The diversity of design has led to the hobby of collecting salt and pepper shakers, which continues to thrive today. The Great Depression in the 1930s significantly impacted the popularity of salt and pepper shakers. As global ceramics producers focused on producing inexpensive items, the demand for affordable and functional household goods increased. 
The widespread availability and affordability of salt and pepper shakers made them a popular household item during this period. The number of holes in salt and pepper shakers can vary depending on cultural preferences and health concerns. In the United States, salt shakers typically have fewer holes due to concerns about excessive salt consumption. In parts of Europe, pepper was historically a rare spice, so pepper shakers had fewer holes. Other distinctions between salt and pepper shakers include labels, colors, white for salt and black for pepper, or transparency. Today, salt and pepper shakers continue to be a mainstay on kitchen and dining tables around the world. While their designs and materials have evolved, their function and significance remain unchanged. Salt and pepper shakers serve as a reminder of the importance of these essential seasonings in our culinary traditions and as a symbol of unity and balance in our lives. The Future of Salt and Pepper Shakers The future of salt and pepper shakers is uncertain as modern technology and changing culinary trends continue to shape the way we use and perceive these classic items. However, their enduring appeal and cultural significance suggests that salt and pepper shakers will continue to have a place on our tables and in our hearts for generations to come. After all, can you imagine the dinner table without them? The history of salt and pepper shakers is a fascinating journey through time, reflecting the evolution of cuisine, society, and art. These humble objects have played a significant role in our culinary traditions and have become an enduring symbol of unity and balance in Western culture. As we continue to explore new flavors and culinary experiences, salt and pepper shakers remain a comforting and familiar presence on our dining tables, reminding us of the importance of these essential seasonings in our lives as well as connecting us in a tangible, meaningful way with the generations that came before us. Hey, thank you for joining us today on the Ancestral Findings Podcast. For additional resources and exclusive treats, visit AncestralFindings.com. You can grab a complimentary genealogy ebook, benefit from a free genealogy lookup, and even participate in our weekly historical postcard giveaway. It's a treasure trove for every family history enthusiast. Your support by listening to the podcast genuinely means the world to me. If you want to support us in more ways, consider supporting us on Patreon or PayPal. Every contribution aids in delivering valuable content and continuing our free genealogy lookup service. From all of us at Ancestral Findings, thank you for being an integral part of our family history community since 1995. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy searching! <music>